But before we can launch astronauts back to space once again, we are going to need some new gear to do that. Today's spacesuits are in need of some major upgrades. Ch times have definitely changed. News 6's Nadine Yana shows us what's being done for the future of space. In this video, astronaut Anne McLean shows us the four-day prep it takes to get her spacesuit ready for a spacewalk outside of the International Space Station. You know, I really love being up here in space. I really love living here and working here. Only for one of her missions, poised to be historic as the first all-female spacewalk was scrubbed because there wasn't a second medium suit that fit her. Instead, she had to wait for that medium to do a spacewalk here with astronaut David St. Jock. The incident, putting into the spotlight the critical need for future spacesuits. According to this 2016 Office of Inspector General report, NASA only has 11 working spacesuits, called EMUs, that can go outside in space. And only four of them are currently in use at the ISS. Not only that, these suits are more than 40 years old, designed in 1978, way outliving their 15-year lifespan. This is an amazing engineering system that's really at the end of its life cycle. So I really worry about safety. Former deputy administrator at NASA, David Newman. It's from the 80s because it's really our shuttle suit. She says for future space travel, including going back to the moon and even Mars, NASA needs a new suit. According to a NASA report, internally they're working on what's called an XEMU, new spacesuits pressurized like the current ones that in the future allow for more mobility. But Newman is thinking even further than that, inventing a biosuit of her own using what's called mechanical counter pressure. We do literally call it a second skin suit. So we're trying to apply the pressure right on your skin. Right now, NASA can't go that far ahead. Embry-Riddle Jr. Nick Lopak is a research manager at the Suit Lab, forming the future of spacesuits right here in Central Florida. And we do these to get that full range of motion. From testing mobility of spacesuits. This was actually part of a NASA design challenge. To creating tools actual astronauts are testing, contributing to what the future of spacesuits could look like. If you look back at some of the old footage, I'm sure you could find it on YouTube, you, you can see that the astronauts were struggling on the moon. They would trip and fall a lot, and that's extremely dangerous. The real issue is that we don't have a working suit that's ready for the moon yet. Um, we need to, you know, pick it up. Get, get our technology ready, test it, and get these boots back on the moon. NASA needs to work quickly to get their newest suits ready and tested before funding of the ISS runs out in 2024. Nadine Yanis, Getting Results, News 6.